welcome back. Uh, today's video. <laughs> Stop it though. All right, before I begin, I gotta show you guys. <laughs> I gotta show you what that squeaking is. Come here. Uh, we got a new puppy. It's a purebred German Shepherd. And this is her toy. She, lo <laughs> she loves squeaking. Huh. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. My name is Jade. And she's seven weeks old. And she loves playing with squeaky toys. So, anyway, so if you hear... If you hear a squeaky in the background, that's that's the dog. So anyway, sorry. Um, today's video is on these little Baofeng radios and uh, programming them using Chirp. Using Chirp. And uh, for many of you who know, if you ordered the cable with the radio, the cable worked for probably the first few times and then it just stopped working and that was in my case she's not gonna let me get, she's not gonna let me get this done um anyway come to find out these chinese knockoff uh cables have a counterfeit prolific chipset in them and then when my windows system did an update uh it basically made these cables void Talked to a few people. I could have rolled back my update, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been fighting her all day. But anyway, what I ended up doing was I ordered a real U.S. or a prolific cable, the United States version. I had to put tape on it. That way I could tell it was the, the real one. And I'm just going to walk you guys through how I program this using Chirp, using this chipset or uh, this prolific chipset. I ordered it from Amazon. I'll show you guys uh, the one that I got. As soon as I got it in the mail, I plugged it in. The computer recognized it right away. So I'm going to take you guys over to the computer, show you how I program this using this cable. So stay tuned. Okay, let me pull up uh, the Amazon account here. And here is the the cable I bought from FTDI chip, I guess. Uh, $20 here on Prime. And this one did, when I plugged it in, it did auto detect. I'll just kind of go through it here, show you. Okay, for the Chirp software, uh, what I did is I just did a Google search here. Uh, let's do let's just do Chirp Bale thing. And I went to the second one here. And there you go, right there. You can download it here. Right here to the download. It's a freeware, but you can uh, you can down you can donate. Click here to download the latest, whatever you have, Windows or Mac. I did that. I downloaded it, <clears throat> and now let's go open it. When it first comes up, it's going to ask you to set up a radio. And I set mine up already. Let me plug in my cable here. And I'm going to download from radio. And it will ask you what port. Mine is COM port 6. Hit OK.
Okay, here is a list of all my frequencies inside that radio. And let's say I want to edit something. Um, right, right here, instead of fire, I'll do SS fire. Now you're limited to only six characters. So let me edit this one. Okay, now I will go and Okay, sorry I had a phone call. Uh let's uh I made this edit here. Let's go ahead and write it to my radio. Upload to radio. Yes. And it's writing it to my radio. I think. Okay, well, let's uh, go to the radio and see how it worked. Okay, guys, I had to hurry and leave after I programmed the radio. I had to run my uh, kids to football, but I grabbed the radio wanted to show you that it does say SS fire now one thing that you guys want to remember if you uh, use chirp well any program for that matter see how it has the numbers on or the words on top and you'll have the frequency on bottom you can't have the words on the bottom it's always on that a position so as I scroll through But the bottom one is only frequency. So let's say the top one is 19, and I found 19 on the bottom. That will at least tell you what frequency it is. And I usually do the top and the bottom the same channel, and then I just I just lock it. That way I can't change any of the channels see that so another thing you guys might want to buy is one of these bigger antennas it's a kind of a pain but it works really well but thanks for uh, stopping by I hope you guys learned something I hope I answered some questions about bell things and their number one problem are these stupid cables so make sure to throw away your bell thing one that came with the radio and get on Amazon order you a half decent chipset you'll be happy and this is the same uh, programming cable that will fit a lot of the Kenwood HTs and for 20 bucks it wasn't that bad I plan on doing a lot of programming in the field using chirp for me is a lot easier you can get up and running within five minutes of downloading it so uh, 73s, you guys. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. Bye-bye.